So when company folks are happy to get out in front and answer burning questions with confirmation, it tends to be a good thing. And hats off to Robert Halleck of AMD for doing just that. Now we have confirmation regarding soldering and CCX design on Ryzen 3000 series chips. So AMD has confirmed that all of their upcoming third generation Ryzen 3000 series processors featuring the Zen 2 core architecture will feature a soldered design. Since their launch of the first generation, the Ryzen series has been utilizing a soldering design which helps deliver better thermal results when compared to traditional thermal interface applications such as paste. AMD has so far used solder on all of their Ryzen CPUs with the exception of the Raven Ridge parts sadly, but included on Ryzen Threadripper CPUs and the upcoming Ryzen Picasso APUs are also confirmed to feature soldering IHSs. Continuing in the tradition, AMD will also feature soldered IHS on their upcoming Ryzen 3000 series processors, which are based again on the Zen 2 core architecture and supported by the X570 platforms. Now this was confirmed by AMD's senior technical marketing manager, Robert Halleck himself. AMD is known to utilize a very high quality solder design on their processors, which includes gold plating and silicon protected capacitors, which offer better durability and proper contact with the integrated heat spreader to dissipate heat more effectively to the cooling solution. AMD's rivals at Intel had until recently been using high quality thermal interface material paste, which wasn't exactly up to the same quality as solder, but in their recent 9th generation unlocked K series processors did include a soldered STEM IHS solution using gold plating, which resulted in, well, better thermal results. Since soldering designs help scrape off a few degrees from the thermal load, the extra headroom can be used for overclocking the chip, and in the case of Ryzen 3000 series, it's looking to be a stellar performer, given the reports that we've seen recently. Hit the links down in the description for more information on those. Also, the solder would be interesting since AMD has up to three chips on each of their Ryzen 3000 series CPUs, with two Zen 2 dies and an IO die. The Zen 2 CCX is configured with four cores and therefore there are two CCX per Zen 2 die. So the eight core parts can be configured with a single Zen 2 die, while the eight plus cores will be configured with two Zen 2 dies. AMD has experience with soldering a chip with various dies before as their Ryzen Threadripper series, which also makes use of solder, has a total of four Zen and Zen Plus chiplets on the interposer. The latter confirmation regarding the CCX design comes as a very useful bit of information, as before there was simply no real concrete discussion regarding the die layout with many people believing that it was going to be an 8 core per CCX and that does include us here as well. Big thanks to viewer Bob Humplick for starting the discussion on our Ryzen 3000 series details videos that led to us reaching out for more clarification regarding this one because we definitely want to be as accurate as possible regardless of what some people may believe. And with that, I invite you to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.